there are different types of nervous systems. So when we look at basic, what we call nerve net nervous systems here in our hydra, these are essentially nerves that are very early on in evolution. We look at them as basic response. And essentially what we're looking for is basically a touch response. We're not looking for your hydra to have feelings or to be able to really taste anything. This is really all a survival touch response mechanism. When we get into bilateral animals, we get the cephalization or what we look at as a concentration of nerves in the head. We eventually will look at it as being a brain, but for our planaria here, I'm not sure if we could consider brain as a, as a proper term. Um, centralization, we start looking at the presence of an actual central nervous system versus just a peripheral nervous system in, in our organism. So all of these things start to work together. And depending on the type of organism, we do start talking somewhat about a brain, but when we look at this interaction on a higher level for you, we've got to think about how that brain and spinal cord will work together to direct the effects of your peripheral nervous system. So remember we said central is just brain and spinal cord, that's it. Peripheral includes cranial nerves, spinal nerves, and all of the ganglia or the clumps of, of neurons. Or groups of neurons. So working all together then, we've got to think about how these things are supported, what the systems are actually pulling together in order to really consider the intricacies of the systems themselves. We'll look at cerebral spinal fluid, or CSF as it's referred to and how this fills the spaces between your brain, spinal cord, and your skeletal system and protects them. It's all made in the brain. So CSF is actually made in ventricles in your brain.